Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today we're going to talk about animals, particularly the fox, right? Now these foxes, they are very similar but they live in very different places. One lives in a very very cold and snowy place while this desert fox lives in a very dry and hot place. So how is it that these animals are so similar but at the same time they're also very different, right? They're same but very different. So we're gonna start here. Animals on land. Animals have adapted or they have changed, right? Their nose is bigger, their ear is bigger, they have more fur. Adapted to survive or to live in their circumstances, to live in their you know, place, in the desert, in the snow, or in the jungle, right? They change to live. For example, compare, right? We're going to see what is different. The foxes in the desert with those in the North Pole, the desert fox and the North Pole fox, right? Uh, we're going to see, we're going to compare. Desert foxes, right? They have small ears, small bodies, and brown hair, right? Desert foxes. However, Arctic foxes have large bodies and have fur and changes from gray, brown in summer and to white in the winter. So their ears are different, their body size is different, their uh, fur is different, right? We're comparing. They look very similar, a little bit the same, but however, they have differences according to or following because where they live and what they eat is different. So what he eats and what he eats, they're different. So that is why they look a little different as well. Okay? So we have three key review questions here. First one, A. Animals have blank to survive in their circumstances. Survive means to live. Right? Not die like this, but surviving is to live and be healthy. And their circumstances means where, they're li where they are living. Right? So to live in the desert, to live in the jungle, to live in North Pole. How do they live in many different places? Well, they have to change their bodies a little bit. They have to change their bodies. They have to change their actions. They have to change what they eat. And to change and to match, it means to adapt, right? So let's say we have this fox here. He's living in the desert, right? And there's um, no water. He has to adapt by, you know, um, having a smaller body or a longer body because a longer body does not need a lot of water. So his body is changing because here there's no water. If we go to the North Pole, their body changes. It's very cold, right? So they adapt. How do they adapt? Their fur gets longer, so they're warmer. B. Desert foxes, blank, small ears. So we're talking about all desert foxes, right? Not just a desert fox or one desert fox. We're talking about all desert foxes, they blank, small ears. So, are we going to say desert foxes has small ears or desert foxes have small ears? Well, when we have many things, we have to say have. So, desert foxes have small ears. If we say one desert fox, then we will say has, right? One desert fox has small ears. But this is many, so we have to say have small ears. Okay? C. Their fur blank from gray brown in the summer to white in the winter. This is talking about the North Pole fox, right? So one in the summer is gray and brown and then it goes, it turns into white and it turns into gray brown, it turns into white from winter to summer, right? And a way we can say that is to change. When we change something, first it is like this, 
and when it changes, it is something different, right? So changing means it becomes different, right? Not the same, but it becomes different. Okay, we're gonna review these grammar points right now. A, compare, we're gonna compare the foxes blank the desert with those in the North Pole. So we have desert foxes and North Pole foxes, hot foxes and cold foxes, right? And we have a hint here, in the North Pole, right? So we want to do the same thing in here. So which one is the same? It is in the desert, right? So in means they are inside the desert and at means they are at the desert next to it and on means they are on the desert, right? But when we are talking about a land such as the desert or jungle or mountains, we say in the jungle, in the mountains or in the desert, right? So again, we can match with in the North Pole and in the desert. B, they look similar, they look a little bit the same, but they have differences according blank where they live and what they eat. So where they live, is it the jungle, is it the desert, is it the North Pole? What do they eat? Is it bugs, birds, small rats, snakes, what is it? Right? So according to means they follow this. If they follow, if they eat snakes, then they will go this way. If they are in a cold place, then they will have long fur. So they are following this and their bodies will follow this. So we say according to. According to means following this, right? So if we are following the rules, the rules in class is don't run, don't hit your friends, and don't chew gum, right? So we can say following the rules, according to the rules, there is no running, no hitting, and no chewing gum, right? According to means following something, the rules. C, arctic foxes, blank, larger bodies. So again, we covered this before, arctic foxes, we're talking about many foxes, right? So when we have many foxes, we do not say has or having. We say have, right? Arctic foxes have larger bodies. Why? Because there are many foxes and when there are many things or a lot of subjects, then we say have, all right? So next time you see, let's say a bird, a parrot, and we see a pigeon, they are both birds, right? But we want to know what is different and what is the same. We want to compare why they are different and why they look the same. All right? My name is Chris from Meeting Town. Thank you for joining us for Kids Times. I'll see you next time.